have some old bushes that you didn't prune in the fall. So you want to go ahead and prune those and just cut them down really, really low. You want to make sure and if there is new growth, you don't want to cut um, below the new growth. But mine don't have any new growth on them yet. So just go ahead and cut those down real low. Um, that way they will start to bush out this spring um, when the new growth starts coming in. temps are in no danger of going um, below freezing. So I just took bring my, bring my pots inside and I go pot them. Got to clean out some of the debris that's still in there. And this pot has potting soil from last year. I usually um, keep the potting soil in there, oh, probably a good five years before I change it out. So you can just clean all of this out and then rake the soil up really good. Stir it up. Get it nice and loose. And if your potting soil has sunk down, you wanna make sure and refill it up a little bit just because that way your flowers show off a little bit better. So I always start with um, something in the center, like I do a spike or you can do um, this um, King Tut. Um, it's a really nice flowery um, put it, uh, place to put in the middle. So I just start with a spike, and then I always give a little bit of shot of um, like a Jack's Bloom, or you might want to do um, Miracle Girl. I'm not a totally organic farmer, so I put a little sprinkle of that in there, so it gives it a good start. Dig it down and put it right in the middle. And the next I always kind of work from the inside out, and you either want to work in um, odd numbers, so I like geraniums a lot. They bloom all year round. Make sure that when they um, the bloom loses its color that you deadhead it. That way it'll keep blooming all summer. Dig it down. Put a little shot of your little fertilizer again. Again, I'm gonna work with three I also love red, so I use that a lot. And the last one. I just dig holes enough to cover the base of the flower so I don't do it super deep. Now that I have those planted, then I like to accent with um, colors, like I like to go with red, with yellow, or I do an orange. And I do these little, um, I call them a bell flower. So then I'll water these after I'm done. I put those in the middle of the two geraniums. Come back here. My last one goes. And then I water these on top. And you can water those in the whole too, but some of my little plants, I just water those on top. And like I said, I figure that this will then um, bloom and when it gets big this summer, it really fills up the pot really nice. So something you might want to do big that um, I could go out actually in my actual garden, but I'm trying a new technique with onions this year. So I thought I would share it. I always grow pretty good onions, but um, I'm going to try to grow bigger onions this year. So um, from the edge of your garden, go in about two inches and make a little trench about an inch deep. So you make it an inch deep in the soil. And then you're going to go and plant like uh, onion plants. You can do this onion sets or you can do it from the onion bulb. And I just happen to have sets. So you plant them. 
and you're going to point them about four inches apart. Again, they're only going to be an inch deep. Okay. And then you go out about um, four inches and you make a trench. And then, again, I'm not an organic um, gardener, so then you take a little fertilizer, dribble down here, and you want it to be 10, 20, 10. You want the middle number to be higher. And then you cover that up. And then you go and plant four inches away. I'm gonna just pretend that's four inches. You plant your onions again an inch deep in that trench. And you plant those um, about four inches apart. Then you go and you water this. And that fertilizer feeds those plants all year long. So before, I always put the fertilizer right in the trench, but again, I'm trying this new technique this year. So I guess if you're gonna try it too, we can all see um, if it works and we get really big onions. And again, your cold uh, weather crops can go in now. Um, I haven't planted radishes yet, but um, got the potatoes in. So that's a new technique for onions.